Good morning or afternoon or evening, dear Yoga TXers. I am Echo, and this is your Flow with Echo. So happy to have you here in Mexico. So I'm in the mountains here of San Jose del Pacifico. It is a little chilly, so you can see that I've got my fire behind me. Not doing the best job keeping it going. So you might see me tend to it while we're doing the yoga class. But slowly but surely, we'll get a, we'll get a flame going here. So thank you so much for for coming to practice with me today. And today's practice is inspired by a quote that I heard the other day that really, really sat with me. And there was this, um, I'm sure that you guys know Aubrey Marcus, Aubrey Marcus that has the On It podcast. And he talks about, you know, in society right now, we see that there are so many issues, so many hardships, so many difficulties for human beings that are suffering, you know, from loneliness and depression and anxiety and stress around the world. And he talks about, he says this quote, the problem is the solution. The problem is always the solution. And it really struck with me because he was saying, you know, if the problem is our disconnection and our suffering and the disparity between so many of us and so many different demographics, um, it's also the solution. Like we have to band together. It can't be a few of us figuring out the solution for the whole. We all have to comprehensively come together to find the solution. And what this brought up with me around yoga is the, that yoga and embodiment, you know, yes, of course, it, it gets us limber and our physical bodies begin to gain flexibility and strength, but also in a society full of busy minds, uh, it gives us an opportunity bec to become truly present and conscious with the moment. And so our practice today is like every practice that you do before, but with this intention of mindfulness and deep, deep presence, like what's showing up for you on the mat today and what's showing up in your mind. And so I encourage you as we move that you really, really stay with your breath, your, your mind and the sensations in your body and begin to really notice and sense what it feels like to be uniquely you and how do you come back into love and into connection and to health, not just physical health, but mental. This practice is not just about uh, the flexibility and the limberness of your physical body, it's about the flexibility of your mind. Are you adaptable? Are you embracing to things that are different than you, to people that are different, to ideas and concepts? And can we embrace the totality of our practice and the totality of the world and our brothers and sisters? So big concepts, little yoga practice, but let's go ahead and start in a comfortable seat. I can feel a flame getting me nice and warm. Hands resting on the knees, palms shining up, sit up nice and tall. Full yogic breaths in from the belly, up through the diaphragm, across the chest and out through the nostrils. So we're looking for ujjayi breath, equal inhalations and exhalations through the nostrils, but really allow the breath to start from the belly expanding out. And the exhale is nice and smooth out of the nostrils. Let's take five breaths this way, really just calm the nervous system as we come into our practice. One more. And the next breath, take an inhale, reach the arms up nice and slow. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach. Exhale to the heart. With eyes still shut down here, come into intention. So no matter how short or long your practice is, when we come to the mat, what is it that you're here for? 
aside from the physical practice? Is it more presence? Is it to let go, to surrender, to trust? Is it for more joy or ecstasy in life? When you bring intention to the yoga mats, you might find that your practice becomes much more fruitful. Let's take one full inhale in, and on the exhale, we om together. Om. Open the eyes. Welcome to your practice. It's getting a little smoky in here. <laughs> so welcome to sitting by the fire with me. Let's go ahead and come onto hands and knees. Come into tabletop position. We're gonna come into a cat and cow pose. So on the inhale, let the belly drop down. Look forward and up. And on the exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops. Look forward and up. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops, look forward. And exhale, round. Inhale. And exhale. Come back to neutral. Take an inhale, reach the right arm out to the right side and up. Exhale, sweep it under the left arm. Come down onto the right shoulder. Stretch the left arm forward. So we're getting into the arm lines here. So as we stretch into the deltoid and release at the right shoulder head, we also release and release any adhesions along the arm lines here. And this is connected to the heart, the pericardium meridian in traditional Chinese medicine. Just to say that it cleans the energy that's coming into the hearts, into the different valves here. Might release tension around that right shoulder head, the ball and socket. So lots of juiciness happening. Bring the left hand back by the face, press up. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, bring it down to the ground. Inhale, reach the left arm up. Exhale, sweep it underneath the right shoulder. Come down onto the left shoulder, right arm stretches forward. All my fire's catching. So stretching again into that left deltoid, into your shoulder sockets. And releasing any adhesions here that had to do with the heart. So sometimes if we've got really tight shoulders, and this isn't to you know, typify that all men have tight shoulders, as women we can as well, but this can release a lot of energy. So we might get a little burst of energy when we're coming up, or we might even get a little dizzy, so make sure that you're just gentle with yourself. Take an inhale. Exhale, bring the right hand back, press up. Inhale, reach the left arm up. And exhale, down to the ground. Stretch the arms forward. We're bringing the forehead and chest down towards the earth. Keep the hips stacked over your knees. Come into Anahatasana, heart melting pose. And again, we're working with the arm lines here. Stretching into the shoulders, releasing the heart down to the earth. And as we get into the back line a bit here in the posterior of the body, we also work with the kidney meridian, which has to do a lot with fear. So as you can imagine, bowing down to the earth here or our sight, cannot see what's behind us. It takes a lot of courage. So just notice what it feels like when you put your body into positions like this. Two more breaths. Slowly peel the chest up and let's come to standing on the knees. So very early on in the practice coming into a back bend. <clears throat> so be gentle with yourselves as you can. Tuck the toes under, bring your hands around the <clears throat> hips here. Thumbs are kind of into the lower back towards the sacrum. <clears throat> Take an inhale, shoulder blades down the back, look forward. And exhale, slowly begin to look up, opening the heart like, you're, like your heart is on a string and it's pulling up towards the sky or ceiling. You can stay here if you're really ready for it. Bring the hands down to the heels. Let the head drop back.
Take an inhale, lift wherever you're at. Untuck the toes, <clears throat> come back onto the hands and knees. And let's tuck the toes and press back to downward facing dog. So first downward facing dog of the practice. You can pedal it out, bending the knees, moving from side to side. You can also come into stillness. Sometimes I like to drop both hips to one side and reach one arm forward. This might feel nice. So my hips are dropped to the left now, reaching my right arm forward. You can come back through center, bend the knees, drop the hips over towards the right. Stretch the left arm forward, get nice and open through the left lateral line. Little pulses back towards the heels. And come back to downward facing dog. Now let's very slowly walk your feet forward. Take your time to come to the front of your yoga mat. And come into a forward fold. Feet are hip width distance apart. Take a hold of opposite elbows. Sway from side to side. And bring it back into mind this quote, the problem is the solution. So when we have, you know, chronic pain in the body, when we have frustration in the mind, when we have matters of the heart that are closed, the problem is the solution. Meaning if the body's in pain, to come into ease, the body also has to be a part of the trajectory of healing there. So a big part of that is just becoming aware be aware right now, how does your body feel? Let your arms hang down to the earth. Sight bend in the knees. Press into the feet, inhale, slowly roll up to standing. And we begin to really sense every muscle, every movement. What does it feel like in your body right now as you come up? Can there be more at ease? Shrug the shoulders at the top. Hands alongside the body and take a couple neck rolls. And just gentle neck rolls. We don't want to turn into the exorcism here with the head dropping back so far. Change the direction. And let's come back to neutral. Step the feet together, bring the right arm down the right side and stretch the left arm up and over. Lean your hips to the left. You can look towards the left as well. It's so getting nice and long through the left lateral line. You might take tiny pulses. So you might be able to see me. The left arm is reaching to the right in little pulses. And come back through center, left arm down the left side, right arm stretching over to the left, hips pushing to the right. Tiny pulses. And come back through center, inhale. Exhale, slowly fold all the way down. Bend the knees, folding down to the earth. Inhale, come up halfway, hands to shins. And exhale, fold. Inhale halfway, exhale fold. And notice if you take your time or if you snap in these movements, move gently, inhale halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, step back plank position. Take an inhale here. Exhale, knees and chest come down, hips high. Inhale forward onto the belly, cobra, open the heart. And exhale, hips to heels, tuck the toes, press back downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Keep it straight at first, right toes pointing down towards the ground. Keep the shoulders away from the ears, belly in. Bend the right knee and stack your right hip over your left. Take an inhale. Exhale, step the right foot through and reach the arms up. High lunge. I hope you can hear the chickens outside. Welcome to Mexico. Sink into the right knee. Let the shoulders relax. Relax the brow and the jaw. So we pause here, take some time, building some strength into the right thigh, maybe little pulses. 
take an inhale. Open up warrior two, nice and wide. Set the left heel down behind you, right knee is bent. Look out over the right middle finger. And what's it feel like for you in this pose? Can you actually feel like a warrior? Can you relax the body but feel strong? Relax the face. Next, inhale, swivel back into high lunge. Exhale, hands to the earth, step back to a plank position. This time you can come down halfway, elbows in by the ribs, half push up. Inhale, forward to the tops of the feet, open the chest. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. This chicken is very angry. <laughs> inhale, lift the left leg up behind you. Pause here. Take an inhale. Exhale, bend the left knee, stack the left hip open over the right. Take another inhale. Exhale, step the left foot through. Reach the arms up, bend the left knee, high lunge. Sink into the knee. Let the shoulders relax. And we come into a bit of stillness and silence. So notice what it feels like to be left in your own mind, in your own body. So without my guidance, feel into that stillness. Relax the face. On your next exhale, open up warrior two. Sink into the left knee. Look out over the left middle fingers. Sink deeply here, let the shoulders relax down the back. And take an inhale, swivel back, high lunge. Exhale, hands to the earth. Step back, plank position. Lower halfway or knees and chest. Inhale forward for that cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And walk the hands back towards the feet, take your time. This time, slight bend in the knees, feet apart, take hands to the lower back, make a fist, press the fist up and behind you. So opening into the shoulders. Let go of the bind, bring the hands to the earth. Press into the feet, knees bent, inhale, slowly begin to roll up. Reach up. And hands to heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart again. Inhale, reach up. Clasp the fingers, except for the pointer finger. Step the feet together. Lean towards the right. Hips press to the left. Look towards the left as well. Take an inhale. And exhale, come back through center. Bring the right foot behind the left. Sweep the arms back behind you. Bend the knees. Fold down. Bring the hands together behind the back. Make a fist. And kind of in this humble curtsy. Two breaths. Inhale, reach all the way up. Step the feet together. Clasp the hands, lean to the left, hips to the right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, left foot behind the right. 
Let go of the bind, sweep the arms down, bend the knees. Arms reach up behind you, clasp the hands, make a fist and fold. One more breath. Inhale, come up to standing, reach up. Step the feet apart, hands alongside the body, and we ground. Close down the eyes here. We complete our practice in standing because I really want you to just sense in your body what does it feel like for the feet to be connected to the earth, for the spine to be erect. What is your body asking you to recognize? What is your mind asking you to quiet? What is your heart asking you to open to? Remembering that the problem is always the solution. So instead of demonizing our physical pain, our broken hearts, our busy minds, we begin to befriend them, create allies, work together for a solution. Bring hands together at heart center, bowing head to heart. Deep breath in, deep sigh out. Lift the head, open the eyes. And we say namaste. Life is coming out inside. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here for your practice today, for being here for yourselves. I encourage you to subscribe down below and keep up with me on social media and all the links below. You can find my website at echoflowyoga.com and wishing you a beautiful, blessed day.